it is by far the best job I have ever had. So we're talking about haiku. Has anybody ever heard of a haiku poem? Okay. When you write a haiku, you're thinking about that one moment. We're going to go out and see little things in nature, and I want you to concentrate on those little small moments, okay? The butterfly, the drop of rain, the cool wind, stars. Falling from the sky. Falling from the sky. Oh, that's nice. Falling from the sky. Land in the grass. Hope you make a wish. Oh, hope you make a wish. Nice. Let's make a wish. This program allows me to not only reach uh, one classroom, but hundreds of classrooms. And it has allowed me to go into lots of different schools. And when they're writing, their eyes light up. And that, you can't measure. Um, and I think that's one of the, the beauties of this, of this type of program, that we're able to have uh, an opportunity to, to reach kids who might not know. about what inspires you and you're going to describe you're going to describe it just as simply as you know how and when you do that just just do it in the three lines right there's a buzz in in the school uh, wherever the arts uh, uh, takes place you'll see it in the child's faces you'll see when they go home and they want to share their their poems uh, with their parents uh, as soon as they get home um, and so if you can kind of teach that infectious learning um, that's something I think that spills over into their lives, not just uh, in, the, in the classroom. Small pine tree swaying, moving at the wind soft beat, very gracefully. Nice, good imagery. That's what you really want to get when you're, when you're haikus, good imagery. This infrastructure does not exist in any other way like this in the state. So this is, this is a great model, really nationwide, of how the arts can work for, for pairing up an arts council and, and its artists with a school. And I leave a school just, just going, I want to come back, I want to come back. Good work today. Good job.